Hello everyone, here we are, Robin the Sudoku Guy with tutorial number 89. And before I start the tutorial, one quick announcement. On tutorial 90, we're going to do something different. And I had a fan, let me see, it was a, her name was uh, Bernadine Remington. I don't know Bernadine where you live in the world, but thank you for your suggestion. And Bernadine suggests that I put up a puzzle on YouTube and you have a go at solving it. You just take it, uh, put it on a, a, a grid of your own, and solve it. Then a few days later, I'm going to put the same puzzle up again onto YouTube, and that time I'm going to be doing the puzzle, and you'll be amazed. There's so many ways you can go. We'll start off with something simple. So looking forward to that. But today is a unique tutorial, and it's called the remote magic pairs. Quite often I have people send me a puzzle that they're stuck on and I look at it and there's all kinds of magic pairs there and they're not quite sure how to handle them. Well, here's a tutorial to help you look at one way of handling them. On this screen I've got here now, we have four matching pairs. There's a matching pair here in this block. There's a matching pair in this block. We have four cells. Now, to do remote solving, we need to have at least four cells of the matching pair. Now, these are connected because that one's connected to this one, this one is connected to that one, and that can, is connected to that one. And that makes things really interesting. Let me show you. If this happened to be a two, this would be a four. If this was a four, this would become a 2. If that was a 2, this becomes a 4. Now we started off here with a red on a 2 and a blue on a 4. Well, what does that mean? It's neat, but I'll show you it could be another way around. It could be we started off here with a 4 and that becomes a 2 and that 2 becomes a 4 and that 4 becomes a 2. It doesn't matter whether it's a 2 or 4, or a 2 or 4 here. There is a cell that can see both of those, and if they can see, that cell can see both of those, and it's got a 2 or a 4, or just one of them, it cannot be there. And I'm um, looking around. Is there, a, is there a cell that can see a red and a blue at the same time? Yes, there is, and it's down... Here, you may have picked it up before I got there. It's this one here. I'm going to make it green. And this time I'm going to... Whoops, that's not very good. This time I'm going to put a 2-4 in there, plus, just, just for demonstration purposes, plus an 8, just for fun. So here we are with a, my black pen. We're going to put a 2-4 in there. Whoops, I dropped it. 2 Four and an eight. See that? Now, because this cell can see that cell, this cell can see that cell, if this cell uh, can see that and that cell can see that, we cannot have a two or a four because what will happen as you go through the puzzle is that either this will become a two and then that will be a four, or well, that will become a 4 and that will be a 2. And in both cases, you can't have a 2-4 here. So that means we finish up with an 8 and we have got rid of that 2-4 and this becomes a nice big 8. Okay, so that's the first clip. I've got more coming. You could, uh, I, I can, you could, have, more than, um, you could have more than 4 uh, cells. You could have, so let's have a look at the next clip. Here we have another set of matching pairs, and there's lots of them. And they're all connected. For example, here, this is connected to this one, so it's the same row. This is connected to this one, the same block. This is connected to the same, to that, to there, because it's the same column. This is connected to this one, it's in the same row. This is connected to this one, because it's in the same block. This is connected to this one because it's in the same column. This is connected to this one because it's in the same row. And this is connected to that one 
and I didn't put the four six in there. Um, and this one here that I'm just putting the four six in is connected to this one. So they're all connected. Now, the question now we have is when you look around that, where is there a cell, or it could be more than one cell, that can see two colors? Have a look and see what you can see. Is there a cell that can see two colors? Well, here's, here's one right here. It's this one here because can you see with the two colors that it can see? It can see a blue and it can, no, no, no. This one can see a red rather and it can see a blue. It can see a red and a blue. If that's a four, that's going to be a six. If, that's going to be, if, that's a, if this is a six, that's going to be a four. No matter what, this can't be a four or a six. So if there happened to be in this cell, uh, something like this, I'll show you, uh, a two, a three, and a four, and a six, what you could do is to eliminate, remove, the two, the four and the six, because that can see that red and you can see that blue. So we can get rid of that and we're left with a two, three. Okay? Now, is there another cell that can see two colors? Let me see. Um, I can see one over there. But here, in the same block here. This cell here, have a look. Can you see that it can see two colors. This can see that color, that red, because it's in the same block. You can also, like this one, can see that it's blue. So again, the same rule applies. If there happen to be a, a number in there, and let's say I put a, a four, seven, eight or something like that in here. Four, seven, eight. It simply means that we can remove the four. If there was just a six in there, we could remove the six. So we can remove this four. Because it is these two here, what we call remote. Okay. Oh, this cell here. Have a look at this cell. This cell can see a red, and this cell can see a blue. But because we've got a four six here, that's a matching pair in a column. And we know from previous uh, sessions that if you've got a matching pair, any other four and six in that column can be removed, so that wouldn't even that wouldn't even be a, a four or a six in any case. Okay, now we're going on to do another another one, and this time we're going to do it with a puzzle. Here we are with another example. This time I've got a real puzzle, and I've chosen the basic four cells, and this time it's a two eight. And again, because this is a, a matching pair, one is blue and one is red. This is also within this block, it's connected, and one is red and one is blue. Uh, and here we have, this is blue, that has to be red. They are all connected in that respect. Now, the question is, is there a cell there that can see two colours? Because we know from previous cuts that if you can see two colours, you can't have the numbers that are in those colours. So, have a look at this. Can you see a cell that can see a blue and a red? Your answer is this one here. This one here. This cell here can see, see check me to see if you're um, right. This cell can see a red, it's in the same row. And this cell can see, sorry, uh, this cell can see a blue, it's in the same row. This cell can see a red, it's in the same column. Now we know that from previous cuts that if this is a 2, that's going to be an 8. If this is an 8, that's going to be a 2. No matter what, whatever 2 or 8 in here cannot be there. So you can eliminate the 2. Okay. So I'm going to eliminate the two. What does that do? That gives us a big five. See? A big five. Now that's, it's amazing. Something like this can help you get to the end of the puzzle. Let's see if I can do that. 
Okay, we'll put a five in here and see what happens. If I put a five in here, immediately there's a five nine there, so that five can go and you're left with a big nine. See this one here? Okay, so that's a big nine. Now if that's a big nine, this nine here can go, so you're left with a two eight, another matching pair in there. Okay, if that is a 9, this becomes a 5. This 9 goes and this becomes a 5. Let me double check. If that's a 5, we have a, a 5, 5, and a 5. That's correct. Now, because we have a 2, 8 matching pair there, we cannot have a 2 there. That 2 has to go. That's another rule of the matching pair. We can al also say there's a 9 here and 9 there. This still has to be a 9. So in both cases, there's more ways to the, see, uh, to the border, okay? So that becomes a big two. Uh, now that becomes a big nine, rather. Ooh. Now that's good. Now, because we've got a five here, this five means that this becomes a two. And that makes sense because we have a two, two, and a two in here. So let's take this and make it a big Two, and we've completed that whole row and that block. If that's a two, then this becomes an eight. Okay, because it was a matching pair. If that becomes an eight, this becomes a two, because they were a matching pair, so we'll make that into a two. Now, if this is a two, because it's a matching pair, that becomes an eight. Okay. I see something else we uh, missed, but anyway, we'll come back to it. This becomes an 8 because it was a 2-8 matching pair. Make this an 8. If this is an 8, it's in the same block as this 2-8, so that becomes a 2. Okay, and because that's a 2, this becomes an 8. And this becomes a 2. Now, that was a tremendous result. Now, there's more yet, I think, somewhere. Yes, because we had a 5 here, that 5 goes. So that means that this becomes an 8. And therefore, because this is a matching pair, this becomes a 5. And let's double check, do a check. We have a 5, 5, 5, 8, 8, 8. And we solve the puzzle because we discovered a remote Matching pair. There's more to come. Here we are with our final clip, and this time it's a, a, another puzzle. And in this case, we've got quite a few uh, matching pairs with one and eight. Uh, there's here, here, here. Uh, yeah, there, 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 and there. Six of them. So let's see what we can do here. Is there a, a cell in this puzzle that can see two uh, colours of the matching pairs? Have you been able to find one yet? Well, here's one right here. I'm going to circle it with green. And as I circle it, you look around to see what you think, see whether you think it sees two colours. Okay, here we go. There we go, that's the one I'm talking about. That cell can see the 1 8. It's a, so it can see uh, the red in up here, the 1 8 there, and it can see this 1 8. It can see a blue, and a blue and a red, and it's either going to be a 1 8 or it's going to be an 8 1. It doesn't matter which one. These remote cells here will mean that you cannot have a 1 and 8 in this cell here because you can see that it's in the same uh, column. This one can see this one. So we can get rid of that 1 8. And you're left with a 2 3. Is there another cell that we could possibly see that has you can see two colours? Look at these see now. I think it's this one here. This one here can see that blue, and it can, this one can see a red. 
So this is also a cell that we can eliminate. In this case, then we can eliminate the 1 and the 8. And what does that do? That gives us a, a big 7. Now that can have its ramifications. I'm going to get rid of the 1, 8 and the 7. And we're going to finish up with a big 7. And let's see if that has any effect. Okay, I'm going to use the black from now on. Here we go. That becomes a big 7. Now what's the ramification of that one? Well, first of all, we can get rid of this 7 here and we've got a big 1. Okay, see there? We've got a big 1 there. So we're putting the big 1 in there. And that 1 means that this 1 goes, that was the pun, and this becomes a 2. If that's a 2, then this 2 goes and it becomes a 3. Okay? If that is a 3, that 3 can go. And if we take this 3 and this 3, this one here becomes a big 3. We've got rid of all those little numbers. That way, neat. Right, left, centre. This becomes a big 3. And if that becomes a big 3, this 3 goes and it becomes a big 1. Okay. And this becomes a big 2. And this 1 disappears. And when I put that 2 in, I suddenly notice, when I put that 2 in, that 2 goes. And you're left with a 1, 7. But because we have a 1 here now, that 1, 7 becomes, oh look at this, that 7, this becomes a 7, big 7. And if that's a big 7, and this 1 means that that 1 goes, now this nine, 7 goes and we've got a 9, so this becomes a big 9. Okay, now let's double check on here. 7, 7, 7, yeah, 1, oh, that 1 this one goes and this becomes an 8. I missed that one. You've probably been yelling at me, hey, you're missing a ramification there, Roman. Yeah, that can happen. If that's an 8, what is it, 9, 9, that's all correct. 7, 7, 7, yeah, 2, 2, 2, yeah, 3, 3, 3, all done. Okay, now, because of this one here on the left and the one up here on the right, this here becomes a 1 because that's an 8. So this becomes a 1, and therefore this becomes an 8. See, that becomes a big 8. That big 8 means that this becomes a 1, because it's part of that matching pair. Okay, that becomes a 1, because this is part of that matching pair in that block. This becomes uh, 1 goes, and this 1 goes, and this becomes an 8. Wow, that's neat. Now, let's see, what else can we do? Well, when we put this 8 in here, this 8 can go, and that becomes a 1. So if this becomes a 1, therefore, because it's in the same block, there's a matching pair there, 1, 8, this becomes a, the 1 goes, and this becomes an 8. Now, we've still got some more to do, I see. Let's see, when I put this 7 in, we can get rid of, gee whiz, uh, ramifications. Lots of them have gone. This 7 can go, this 7 can go. When, uh, okay, and uh, when I put that 1 in, well look at this, when I put that 1 in, that 1 goes, and this becomes a big 7. If that's a big 7, see this, this becomes a big 5. Take the 7 away. That becomes a big 5. This is the time when you find out if you make a mistake somewhere. That big 5 makes this 1, that 5 goes, so this becomes a big 1. If that's a big 1, let's see what the ramification is here. 5, 5, this becomes a 5, 1, 1, 1, that fits. Oh boy, this 5 means that this becomes a 7. That was a 5, 7 matching pair. So this becomes a 7. 
and I'm gonna just check, do a check out seven 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 correct seven 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 correct that five 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 this has to become a five gee I think we're almost there this comes the five and this here the seven has to go because of that one there this becomes a big nine and let me double check the big nine to see if we've done it right nine 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 whoopee we solved it just because we found uh, remote matching pairs. One more announcement I want to say a big thank you to Sudoku Swami who does a very good job at this, this concept and you're welcome to look what he, look at his site on YouTube if you, if you wish. Um, a big thank you to, for, for doing that. Um, secondly, the next one is going to be an interesting one because I'm going to sit, upload a puzzle for you to do and a few days later I'm going to put the same puzzle up and we'll actually solve it. And in the meantime, you're going to have a chance to solve the one I sent to you and let's see how we differ. We will. So that's it for today. Bye for now.